Uh, I wanted to make a video about uh, maybe some self-defense uh, practice shooting. And this is a torso target. And what I did was I kind of just roughly outlined some areas where I feel that uh, would be effective in self-defense. Um, of course, uh, you know, the brain and head area. You get somewhere in here, you're going to really hurt somebody. And then uh, maybe up in here uh, would be like the solar plexus that immediately puts shock into the body and can kill somebody instantly. You don't have to have blood loss to kill kill a person in self-defense. Even though you're not trying to kill him, you're trying to stop the threat. So in here would be like the lung area, and the liver would be somewhere in that area too. And this one would be like the heart area. It's kind of an over-exaggerated heart one. But... Um, <clears throat> Anyways, the heart's about four, four inches, about the size of your fist, you know. So about a third of the way down uh, the chest, a little to the left. And a friend of mine was practicing shooting, who I was helping learn to shoot, and at a shooting range, and was hitting uh, maybe about two inch groups at about 20, 18, 20 yards, 22 yards, something like that. And thought that wasn't very good, you know. But <clears throat> even for the U.S. Army, when they, um, hold on a second, when they were uh, contracting to buy guns, the gun had to shoot a 4 MOA group at 100 yards. So a 4 MOA group is a 4-inch group, you know. And if you break that down to 25 yards... Uh, you know, that's a one inch group at 100 at 25 yards for someone that's in the military. You know, I gotta tell you something not all the military people can shoot that good, but the, the rifle has to be able to shoot that good. So, if a person can shoot, you know, at, at whatever distance is self defense, you know, and hit somewhere in that area, they've got much more than a two inch group that they can shoot you know, at 20 yards. Uh, now, if you back that up to about 10, 15 feet, like what would be in your home in self-defense, and you shoot, you know, within three or four inches of the middle of somebody in self-defense, you know, you got a pretty good shot. Um, the best sniper in the world um, in World War II he he didn't he didn't aim for headshots and things like that. He just shot for the center of the body, and and he took out more Germans than anybody did by himself until he got shot two weeks before the war ended. But he he lived to be in his nineties. So, you know, if you're doing a self defense thing, and you're practicing, uh, even if it's for hunting, you know, and you're trying to hit like uh, like right in here. And you can hit within two inches either way uh, from where you're aiming. That's, that's good enough, you know. doesn't have to be, you know, right on the money like precision shooting. You know, it has to be effective shooting to stop the threat or to be effective in uh, humanely taking down the animal. So I just wanted to share that with you.